Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to check what are the cargo planes produced in USSR and used by Russia. But first, if you haven't seen our other videos, check out our channel for more content. Also, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned not to miss the next videos. During wartime, there's urgent needing of supplies, soldiers, food, medicine, guns, ammunition, and so on. Also, there are different ways to send these to the area, through trucks, trains, and ships. But the fastest way is through the cargo planes. As you all know, one of the greatest militaries in the world belonged to USSR, or today's Russia. Planes designed by Soviet Union are still in service, and they can carry tons of supplies. Now, we have analyzed the Russian cargo planes, and these are the most produced by numbers. Here we go. One of the most produced cargo planes is the Antonov AN-26. First flew in 21st May in 1969, and it is still in service. Total number of 1403 were made. Empty weight for this aircraft is 15 tons, and the maximum carrying weight is 24 tons. It can fly over 1100 kilometers while carrying full weight capacity, and the maximum speed of 414 kilometers per hour. Also, the service ceiling is 7.5 kilometers. The next one is the oldest Soviet cargo plane, the Ilyushin IL-14. First flew in October 1950. The total number made was 1348. They used to continue to serve until 2005, when they got retired. Total empty weight was 12.6 tons, and the maximum carrying weight is 18 tons. And also, the maximum speed is 417 km per hour. While on empty weight, the range reaches around 1300 km. Also, the service ceiling is 7.4 km. After Ilyushin IL-14, the third most produced cargo plane is the Antonov AN-12, which first flew in 1957, and it is still being utilized by airline companies. Until 1973, the total number produced is 1248. The empty weight for this cargo plane is 28 tons, and the weight in full capacity is 61 tons. Also, the maximum speed of 660 km per hour. Range in respect of full weight is 3600 km. Also, service ceiling is 10.2 km. Now, about the fourth cargo plane. We have Ilyushin IL-76, which there is a 1000 numbers produced in total. The first flight was in 1971, and it is still being produced. The empty weight for this plane is 62.5 tons, and the maximum carrying weight is 200 tons. Can you imagine how heavy it can get and still fly? So amazing! Also, there are other variants of this cargo plane, which the numbers are pretty much the same. While carrying 60 tons, the flight range is 4000 km. Maximum speed is about 900 km per hour, and the service ceiling is 13 km. Let's get to the 5th most produced USSR cargo plane, Antonov AN-32. First flew back in 1976, and it is still being produced. The total number produced till now is 373, with the empty weight of 17 tons and maximum carrying weight of 27 tons. Its range reaches around 2500 km while carrying a cargo of 3.7 tons. The maximum speed reaches around 530 km per hour, and ceiling is about 9.5 km. After Antonov AN-32, we have Antonov AN-72 and AN-74. AN-72 first flew back in 1977, and it is still being actively used and in production till now. Total number produced is 195. This cargo plane's empty weight and maximum carrying weight is 19 and 34.5 tons. This also includes 4300 km range and the maximum speed of 700 km per hour. 
Also, the AN-74, which first flew in 1983, this plane is also being produced till this day. The specifications are the same as AN-72, and both planes have the ceiling of 10.1 km. Antonov AN-8, 151 numbers produced. Antonov AN-22, 68 numbers produced. AN-124, 55 numbers produced. AN-225, just one number produced. These were the most produced cargo planes, designed special for military and cargo transport operations by USSR. I also found a strange cargo plane while researching for this video, the VMT Atlanta. There's only two of these made, which I will be making another video specifically about this one. So don't forget to subscribe us and stay tuned by ringing the notification bell. See you guys on the next video.